Every time you say or do what the Lord is telling you to say or do, it will accomplish what he is setting out for it to accomplish. I've got to share this story with you. I found this on someone's fake Facebook page. Very powerful. And this is the Lord at work. Do what he tells you to do and say what he tells you to say because there's a reason. He wishes that none should perish. And he's always after every soul. If, you're, if they're unsaved, he's after them to get saved. If they're saved, he's after them to get closer to him and to learn more about how wonderful and good he is. Let me read it to you because I don't want to miss a word. It was at the end of a worship set, just before the announcements. The associate pastor's wife was wrestling with what she thought she was hearing God tell her. She'd been wrestling all through the opening prayer and seven songs, and now the window for obeying was closing. She took a deep breath and stood up. She walked up the steps to the platform, and as the last chord hung in the room, gritted her teeth, turned, and did a somersault across the stage, and then another. She stood up at the other end of the stage, face red, eyes wet, and turned to head back to her seat, convinced she'd ruined her, her reputation. A shriek echoed across the room, then another. A man in the balcony was obviously distraught, standing, shaking, hands on his cheek. He shouted into the confusion, all right, I give up, you win. As you might imagine, well, actually, I forgot a paragraph here. He came down the stairs, assisted by two burly ushers. At the bottom of the stairs, he freed himself from their grasp and ran to the associate pastor's wife, fully engulfed in tears. As you might imagine, this whole sequence had disrupted what would normally have been a tidy, proper worship service, but everyone was interested now. Between sobs, the distraught man explained that he didn't believe in God, but he had finally given in and come to church with his religious wife. But he, but he still didn't believe in God. In fact, he mocked her when she encouraged him to ask God to prove himself. But he offered a sarcastic and angry prayer. If someone gets up in the middle of the service and somersaults across the stage, I'll believe in you. Other than that, I'm done. That's what he said to God. He gave up that morning and gave in to the pursuing love of God that wouldn't let him go even when he ran from him. Heaven rejoiced again because a frightened woman did somersaults. What a powerful testimony. So if God is asking you to do something or say something, and even if you don't understand, do it and say it. And if it's something like this, ask him to confirm it. She obviously wrestled a long time with it and finally convinced he's not letting go. He wants her to do this because he's after that man. I pray this has been an encouragement to you. We serve, we have an amazing God who wishes that none should perish.